So today we're going to take a quick look at how to download and set up Skype on, on your mobile device. Um, this is an Android device. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 running uh, Jelly Bean. Uh, that is the uh, Android 4.3. And I was looking online and I noticed that for newbies to Skype who haven't used Skype for uh, for a long time or, or, or have never used it on the mobile platform, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how easy it is to set up and get up and running. So I'm going to start off by going over to the Google Play Store. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the Google Play Store. And then I'm going to search on Skype. Try my best to keep my hand out of the image here. So you can see the first one that we have there is Skype. Um, is the is the enterprise application from, from Skype. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and I'm going to install. It's going to take just a few moments here to install. Like most you're going to have to accept the read through the the permissions and go ahead and accept the permissions. Once it's downloaded you'll watch it uh, go through the install process. Okay we have Skype success successfully installed. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Skype. Now, if you already have a Skype account, you can just log in with your with your uh, Skype account or log in through your Microsoft account. Um, either one of those will work. If you haven't used Skype before, you're going to have to go ahead and create an account first. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to go create an account. It's going to give you your normal use of terms policy here that you have to agree to. Now you have to input your Skype account information. Now, of course, you know you're going to want to you know, decide who do you want contacting you through Skype. So do you want to use your real name or not? But um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and enter enter some name some uh, information here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and entered all the information here, and you can see I've just got this blue check mark here to check. You enter your email, cell phone number, and stuff there at the bottom. Um, it's really up to you how much information you you, uh, you want to enter beyond just the basic requirements. So now I'm logged into Skype and you can see here I've got some menu options across the top. I can see recent calls, I can see favorites, or I can see people that I have saved as contacts. Now right now because this is a brand new account I don't have anybody saved as a contact. Now Skype to Skype calls are free so you just need a person's know their Skype contact in order to make a video call to them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add a person and I'm going to go ahead and punch in myself. Now I do have another Skype account. I created the one that I just created specifically for doing this demo. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect to my other Skype account. So once I, I look, um, once I look somebody up, you can see here I went, went, went ahead and looked myself up, and I want to say I'm going to go ahead and I want to send a, um, a request to that person to add them as a contact. So you can see it's gone ahead and it said uh, we're going to go ahead and send that message to, to this user saying that I want to add them as a Skype contact. And it actually comes through pretty quickly. That probably took less than a minute. You can't see my screen. I'm on my other PC here. Um, so uh, I, all that person has to do is just accept, which I just did. So you can see that I just got a message back that I've gone ahead and accepted, um, accepted that Skype contact. Now, um, now if I want to call the person, um, you can see that I'm still on the contact. Or I'll back out a little bit. So now that I have a contact added, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and place a video call to myself. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just click the video button down here in the lower left hand corner. And it's, it's actually dialing right now. You can't see it, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it. And um, now I went ahead and hung up there because you could hear it start to feed back as far as what was going on. But it's really that simple. Once you have the person added, um, you know, you just have to go through that acceptance policy, making sure that you send them a request to, to add them and vice versa. And once that goes through, um, it's simply going into your people, clicking on that person, and then you can start a video or, or a voice a voice call. So um, I hope you you can see the value of being able to, to do this. I've done it um, on 4G and it works pretty well. Uh, I don't know how well those video calls work on 3G. I haven't had a chance to test that. but um, So that's as simple as it is. That's all it takes to get up and running with Skype Mobile so that you can use Skype to make free video chat calls um, from Skype to Skype user.